Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm trading the ES futures on a 2000 tick chart with a 21 EMA. So I've got my overnight highs up here, overnight lows down here. We're in this range right here. So we push off right here, which forms our overnight low. This is around 8 o'clock right here. So starting off, you can see this reversal pattern. It's a first entry short, second entry short failure. But the problem is you just got a break of this downtrend and then one small attempt down. I'd want to see a couple clear attempts down you know, holding on the EMA to, to take that. But so it just doesn't have good context for a reversal pattern. Um, but we push higher here, we go into this uptrend and we have this break right here. Notice it's two legs. It's not the most clear two legs, but it's it's still there. You know, we push lower to the EMA, we break, we push back, we push below. So that's, it's pretty, eh, it's kind of clear, two legs right there. But yeah, after that two-legged break, you push higher, you make a new high for this uptrend. Now you do have this measured move in play. But after it makes the new high, it does rush back below the EMA, and we start forming this range right here. So we can get it off those lows, put it to that high, and we push lower here. We have this downtrend, and then I was looking for a long in here. I was hoping that we could get a clear downtrend break, and then a couple attempts lower, and then you know failure to you know to go long. But it really just got congestive and just started forming this range right here. You don't want to enter into that. But we push higher here. We reach that high. Just one, it's basically just a first entry on a big picture. We just push higher here. I would want to see, you know, a break, you know, and then, you know, like a couple attempts to go higher and then fail. You know, that'd be a good setup for a range right here. But we just kind of plummet back down. We just, we by the time we close back below the EMA, I was hoping we could get some attempts higher or like, you know, two attempts higher to catch a failure. But we just kept plummeting down. And then we got to these lows. And we have this downtrend right here in play, so we need this to play out. But by the time it has a break and has its first attempt lower, it's already just plummeting straight down. Um, and I don't want to take a breakout pullback here either, because I don't like taking breakout pullbacks unless they're also another setup. Um, and also you have these conflicting measured moves here. You have this measured move higher and this measured move lower. It's just, it's not a very good area to take a breakout pullback. So... We push lower here, we get these shallow corrections, not quite reaching the EMA, so you can't take those. And then here, we reach the overnight low, and what I was hoping for is we push higher here, and then we get a clear reversal pattern to go long. But we really just, we reach the EMA, and we get congestive. Since that's just a first entry right there, just one leg higher, you can't go short there. And then it just gets really congestive, so you really can't enter in that stuff. Um, and then we have these two sharp legs down outside of the overnight low and then as soon as we get those two sharp legs out we immediately have uh, you know two attempts to fade the overnight low here uh, which is what this trade is based off of it's based on the failure for fading failure to fade so we start getting these highs here and these lows where you know the EMA is flat we're forming this range here and after we get this measured move trying to fade the overnight low I waited for this to close below the EMA because it could bounce back off the EMA form a reversal pattern and fade um, but we do also have this measured move here still in play. So I liked going short once it closed below that EMA there, right after that measured move. I just used a limit order, got filled on that pullback right there. So that was a pretty good trade in my opinion. And we push lower here, we reach that low. It's one to two down to those lows. And then we have, we have this push lower here. We have this downtrend break. We make a new low, but we could reach this measured move right here, and then it kind of, you know, it couldn't get above the EMA, so you don't want to enter on that. Um, and then it kind of just gets sideways. I would avoid entering long right here. It's it's really just kind of a beginning to look choppy, like a mess. But we push higher here. We have another measured move higher. We have this first leg higher, break, second leg higher. We reach the overnight low this time. But I wouldn't want to go short just as soon as we reach it, because we do have this possible trend up here. Um, forming and you know we could still fade that range fade the um, overnight range because this overnight level is a lot stronger than this range right here so I wanted to wait for more confirmation I was trying to do the same thing I did here just wait for it to close back below the EMA which I did here but it never came back to fill on a limit order so I had to miss out on that but we had this push down here and then it forms this two-legged move down you don't want to go long down here it's just right after a huge spike down and then this higher low can't even get above the EMA. And so anyway, we have these two legs down here and then we start making a reversal pattern. We have this first entry short, second entry short failure. It's pretty choppy for a reversal pattern, but we end up getting this bigger picture entry here and you can view it as, 
you know, or another reversal pattern of first entry short, second entry short failure. It still had room to reach that measured move. It had room to those highs. So that was a pretty good area. Notice it just trapped lower, you know, went all the way higher there. So that's a pretty good looking entry. Held off those range lows. I like that right there. Third bounce off this trend line. That's a good looking trade. So we push up here. And I was also, I was extending my range highs to about right here but by that time there. So we start finding resistance here. You're inside this uptrend. You don't want to go short in this. We have a break. We push to a new high. Just rush below the EMA there. You can't enter long on that. You're also just in the middle of this range. Now we push higher here. So now we have this uptrend, break, new high. And that takes me to this right here, which is a loss. I, I kind of tricked myself here. Notice my STT is drawn off. See how sometimes as more bars form on NinjaTrader, you'll kind of move your trend lines. I think that's what happened because I drew this, um, but then I somehow ended up having it over here and then it, I kind of just, it, it looked like it was clearing of STT, but really it did have STT, uh, short-term trend line blocking. So that was not a good trade. Also, you know, I really should have considered, we, you know, we rejected it. We rejected the fade here and then we already had this downtrend break, new low, and then a spike back above the EMA. It didn't go far above the EMA, but it did spike up there and close above. And then it had STT. It's just an overall not good entry. Um, so I got stopped out on that and then we just pushed higher here. So looks like we're starting to fade the overnight range a little bit more success more successfully now we're holding above the EMA it looks like we might you know hold above this line here but it also could reject it here it's kind of just congesting on a bigger picture here so we push higher here we got this higher low that's just right into the overnight low you don't want to enter on that and yeah it's just kind of turning into a choppy mess here so I would wait for more price action form before entering anything here maybe we can get like a some kind of reversal pattern back down that would be good we have good context for that um, we could also start something like this. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Just started forming this bigger picture trend right here. So, yeah, we can definitely get something soon here. But I'm done for the day. And, yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. Um, this was a quick video. Yeah, also, for anyone wondering, I've, I'm going to be making the videos earlier than I have been. Usually I would trade till 2. From now on, I'm going to be making these videos around 1230. Um, you know, I just, you know, trading offers freedom and I'm going to be using it. And I think I mentioned this last video, but, but yeah. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and yeah, I'll see y'all next time.